Magic the Gathering is an expensive game, and although it's great, some people find themselves unfortunately prized out. So today, we'll go through five different ways to enjoy the world of Magic the Gathering without spending any money. And I'm not just gonna tell you what they are, I'm gonna get my friends to play them. And later, you'll even see top level players playing the best possible game of mental magic. But first, let's go to game number one. All you need is a few basic lands. Weren't we supposed to record? I was told to be here. I'm here. I don't know what happens. Oh, I went too far. Let's play a game using only basic lands. You get 10 of each basic land. You get 10 of each basic land. The winner gets a point. Now, to see who go first, find yourself. This. This is me. I'll go first. Oh, yes. <laughs> Pick three cards each. I'll pick the top three. <laughs> you will notice that they're all basic lands. Now the way you win this game is by playing a land per turn. Like in Magic, except that's where it stops. You win if you have either five of the same basic land in play or one of everyone in play. Now there's a caveat. When they enter the battlefield, they have different effects. Just so you know, before you go, the only one that doesn't have an effect when you play it is Island. It's too strong, they had to nerve it. But if it's in your hand, it does a force of will. For those of you who don't know the card, you can discard it and another one of your cards in hand to just counter and enter the battlefield effect and a land drop. I'll play a plane? That's a good one, because whenever you play a planes, you just draw a card. Imagine the possibilities. Mono White would be so strong in Commander. Since when does White get the card draw? <laughs> <laughs> that would be broken. I play a Swamp. That's my favorite one. This is the Thought Seize. Every time you play a Swamp, you get to look in your opponent's hand and discard a card. Uh, I'll take a moment. I'll draw. I'll play a forest. This is really convenient because it'll also show us what the mountain does. This is a regrowth. Whenever you play a forest, you get to take land from your graveyard and put it back into your hand. So what does the mountain do? When you put it into play, it's a sinkhole. You just destroy target land. I'll let you guys play for glory and for finding out what the next game is. And for one point, I heard. Yes, one point. I'll draw. I will show you a swamp. I will take the mountain. Yeah, four. <laughs> Go. Let's see how many times we can do that. Let's see how many times we can do that. I'll swamp you. <laughs> All right, I'll take the forest. <laughs> I'll draw. I'll play a moment. I take the swamp. Okay. Go. I'll draw. I'll play a forest. No, let's counter. I'm down to play without cards okay. in hand. I'll counter your counter. Okay. Uh, I'll get back the mountain. Can counter a counter? Yeah. Can you force a will a force a will? If you ask like this. I think that's. <laughs> I think the answer is yes. Okay, my turn. Yes. Discard it. No. Oh, go. Oh, I need two more swamps. Oh, this is real. Oh, I drew a swamp. Oh. Do you want more swamps? Oh, okay. Go. That doesn't have any effect though. I'll play this forest. Okay. Get back my mountain. Yes. Go ahead. Planes. Draw. Yeah. Go. I'll play a mountain. I'll counter it. Okay. Sure. Yeah. My turn. Yeah. Draw a card. Come on, there's, uh, there's so many mountains left in my deck. Draw, forest. Ooh, I need an island to win. How convenient, look at that. My turn. Go. Uh, I'll play a planes. Yes. I'll draw. My turn, I'll play forest. Uh, that's rough. Get an island. Yeah, go. Oh, I need a single mountain. I'll play a swamp. I'll Some take one island. island. Draw, Yep. island. Uh, I, no! Uh, now wasn't uh, that riveting? Just two friends, a pile of free basic lands. Glory. A pile of basic lands? There was a single mountain. <laughs> Which is a basic land. As you are an adventurer, you get a cowboy hat. Woohoo! Woohoo! Howdy, partner. You also get a point. <gasps> Whoa. Let's get to game number two. That was a lot of fun. And may I remind you, most players just have pools of basic lands lying around because you open one in every pack. They come with fat packs, they come with bundles. A lot of people have basic lands. You can go to your store and pick these up for free most of the time. So I recommend giving this game a swing. The next one, you don't even need any cards at all. This is game number two. This is a giant magic card, or it could be. So if you don't have magic cards around, another way to play with your magic card, what you, we all have is infinite magic card knowledge because cards have art and we recognize the art on them, unless you're Todd. Oh no, art. So we're playing Pictionary. I will draw the art of a magic card here. And at any moment, you can stop me and try to guess what it is. If you guess right, you get a point. Once you have two of those, you win. If you guess wrong, 
Your opponent gets a free try. Bring it on. Card number one. That's a football. I thought that, that is was not a magic card. A turtle? Tassiger. <gasps> no. Is it wrong? It's not Tassiger. It is not Tassiger. Oh, that was so good. Would you like to take a guess? I don't even know what. Is that a turtle? Why do you guys keep saying turtle? Midas? Yeah, what is his name? King Midas? He's pensive. Oko. Yes! <laughs> it is Oko Thief of Crown! I started by his most recognizable yeah. characteristic. Uh, it's abs! Yemen, yeah, I you get a point. Yes. Are you ready for card number two? Given that Toffel has a hat, and I just guessed the king. I can I have a hat? Yes. It, it was my hat. No, I don't have a hat. I want a hat. Give me your hat. You regret asking that. You just ask! <laughs> I I didn't regret asking it. <laughs> You had a frog hat. Oh, oh, it's already starting. Mox Ember. Would you like to guess? Um, I was about to say, what's the Mox that produces legendary colored mana? But that's Mox Ember. <laughs> <laughs> and it does look like it. I'll go with Mox Pearl. Nope. Bad. I feel under pressure. What is this? There's a hat at stake. Potentially a better one. A water drop? Omnath. That's Omnath. Would you like to take it? Omnath is not literate. Oh, it's a book. It is a book. Oh, I gave you free information. I thought you just checked. That looks like Omnath. Um, somewhat. But in reality, it's Snapcaster Mage. I don't know which card reads a book. <laughs> <laughs> but what is even a book? Is he looking at Instagram? I would Season know. Pyromancer is reading a book. This? And looks like this? Yes. Todd? Wait, is he closing the book with his f magic hands? No. Is he draining from the book? Yeah. Maybe. How do you know it's a he? That's a good question. Am I doing this wrong? I am! That's good. <laughs> I have some corrections to make. Fun things you can play with your friends at home. Pictionary, but just don't draw magic cards. Wait, what is this? Is it? Oh, okay, so they're still holding a book. Ah, uh, the book has lines on it. Mm, ah, it's a book with text in it. Yeah. Oh, what is happening? So at one alert, ladies. At one point, it stops being our fault and starts to become his. Fault. I think at this point, it's for, fully your fault. It's a black card. Dark yes. ritual. Yes, that is correct, and he ties it up, ladies and gentlemen. I have to say, I don't know how, where, or what, it's but uncanny. it costs a black. <laughs> for the last point. It's match point, eh? Match point. It's a bubble? A giant poop. <laughs> no, Todd. It's a cat. <laughs> You're on hard mode. Oh, okay. Lantex. Yes! Oh, how is that Lantex? <laughs> it's exactly like those things on the internet. Todd oh, gets a point! Those aren't stacked up stones, those are hands. What? Yes. To go with your beautiful hat, oh. you got some sunglasses. Nice. You look so cool right now. Do I have to keep them like that? Do you think that was cool flipping the board upside down? I thought it was very cool personally. The next one is the one I promised you. We're gonna see how well my friends do at mental magic. So what if you don't have any cards, but you also don't have a whiteboard? You're looking awesome, by the way. Challenge number three, and you're gonna have to win this because currently he's 2-0. Next challenge is mental magic. You don't need any cards for that. All you need is your brain. The rules are, they play a game of magic. There are no rules regarding the cards, except you draw seven. It's Fight Club magic. Rule number one of mental magic is tell all your friends about mental magic. It's lovely and we very much enjoy it. Rule number two, you draw seven cards and play out a game. But if at any point you forget a card that's on the battlefield or you target something that's not there or you target something in your graveyard that's not there. If you misremember the state, for maybe you forgot the amount of cards in hand, you lose the game. You give the point to the other. Now, the stakes are high. So to see who goes first. This is me. I'll pick this one. <gasps> You have sunglasses on. <laughs> oh no! I won these! Your coolness was to your detriment! You begin. Draw uh, seven cards. All right, I'll, I'll draw seven cards. Would you like to mulligan? No. Would you like to mulligan? I would like to use a serum powder. Yes. <laughs> well done. That's a free mulligan. Um, Pre-game effect, I would like to put a blue Layline of anticipation on the battlefield. Can I? You, you cannot. Oh, anytime someone plays a card, no one else can play that card. It's uh, I'll move out. to my main phase and put a black lotus onto the stack. No black lotus. <laughs> That's mine. 
Judge? No, he that is correct. He is the only person to get a Black Lotus, but he doesn't have it yet. <laughs> the world of opportunities awaits. His Black Lotus is on the stack. Where, where was my prize? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You, you do have a ley line of anticipation. Yeah. I will play. Can you feel the anticipation? I can feel it. That. <laughs> That's a ley line of interest. A lot of spatter. Results. I will crack it for a blue and cast on chest for recall. Target me. I'll mental misstep. I'll go to 18. You're currently winning the game. Oh, right. How many cards do you have in hand? Four. All right. That is correct. I will let mental misstep resolve. All right. Then Can my Black Lotus resolve? You pass priority. I pass priority. Summoning trap! So what does it do? So what does it do if you get to play it for free? I look at the top seven cards in my library and I pick any creature and put it on. Don't look yet. Put them back, please. <laughs> Don't look. Does it resolve? So th that's on the stack. I'll cast a Mind Break Trap. That's free. That's free because we've cast a bunch of spells. And I'll target your Summoning Trap. I will use Pact of Negation to counter your Mind Break Trap. So far, your Ley of Anticipation has been stellar. How do you have? It cast a Lotus Petal. <laughs> I have four. That is correct. Cards. <laughs> okay, lucky, <laughs> lucky, lucky. I'll exile a Mist Hollow Griffin. Four mana, three, three, that you can cast from Thank exile. You. I appreciate the value. <laughs> I'll get along to that. Uh, to cast Misdirection, targeting your Pact of Negation. I don't like it. How many cards do you have left? Two. And me as well. All right, I guess. I mean, there aren't many card spells that are free. I will exile Torrent Elemental. And Force of Will, your Misdirection. So you go down to life, uh, one life? Yeah, I'm at 19 now. Still 19 winning. 19 to 18. But no cards left. No, uh, yeah, to 18. The stack is huge right now. But I've still got... Two cards. I've still got two cards. That is correct. And I've got one that's not legal in modern. Simeon Spirit Guide. I'll exile a Simeon Spirit Guide and cast Gutteril Response. <laughs> to counter target instant spell? The Gutteril Response instant? I'll counter that. Force of Will. All right, it's a draw. <laughs> no. There are no more cards in hand. Let's resolve the stack. So, Gadra response counters Force of Will. Can yes. Uh, misdirection, resolve? Yeah. All right. Your Pact of Negation will target your own summoning trap. Sad. Okay. So that ha! Your Mind Break trap does nothing. <laughs> and then your Lotus resolves. I've got a Black got Lotus. Black Lotus, wow. I'll sack the Black Lotus. Oh. For red, red mana. Do I have a commander? What would you do with uh, this red Cast mana? Cast my commander? No. <laughs> I was expecting you to play a card. I, I don't have any cards left. Well, guess. Um, I'll pass my turn. Trigger. You have, uh, you have an effect on the stack. I'm going to play no fun guy. He cannot pay for his pack. Congratulations, Yevon Cove. You won. <laughs> you know what every adventurer needs? A point, a point, a point. And a cool ass chain. You also get a point. Nice. I want the chain. Is this how you wear chains? <laughs> Most likely not. That was another way to play with your magic cards for free. Let's see you in the next challenge. That was wild. I loved it. You should try that at home. It costs you literally nothing. All you need is two people and two brains. Next one might be the last one because if Todd wins, we'll never find out number five. So click that subscribe button. If it's not too late, let's get into it. Game number four. Now, don't let him boss you around like that. He caught up. If he gets another one, we get to find out fifth game. If you win, we don't, so pressure's on. Now, at home, you probably have a bunch of bulk laying around that you already have, you didn't need to purchase. This one, they have little dates at the bottom. You can play if you just find one card of every year. You will each in turn reveal one card from the top of this deck. You will put them in order from oldest to newest. If at any point you put one in the wrong order, you'll have me to respond to. Now, <laughs> see who goes first. Todd, who's underneath my hat? Jamie. <laughs> it was Yemen. Hey. What is the reference? It's the first card. He just gets a free turn? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. It's great to go first. I will put it mm, here. All right, let's see. Ding. Angelic Renewal. Hmm. Going by the frame, I'll put it as an older card. Yemen is indeed very smart. Oath of Druids, I will put after Angelic Renewal. See, those are the cards. It's really hard for me to tell them apart. Because you weren't born yet. Would you like to flip the next one? <laughs> Silence. Um, it's close, but good job. Ooh. Oh, I didn't. That was a, I put that one in as a trap. Cast down. Well, 
Dominaria was somewhere here. Only after Dusk Mental's here. Now, here we get into problematic territory. I'll say that this was after Oath of Druids. Not even close, yes. That is correct. Pride of the Clouds. That is OG Ravnica, which is hopefully before Silence. So far, you guys are doing great. This I is easier than I thought. Sliver High Vlor. <laughs> no. no, this is easy. Is this it? is very easy. Yeah, yeah, no worries. This goes here. That is correct. Azrain. Well, chip. Minsk and Boo. Uh, yeah, that's easy. That's like super recent. Let's make an old column here and a new column there. And there we go. Ooh, oh. this is a fun one. The Gitrog monster. We'll say it's before. This I'm is not. Sorry, you lose rights to your hat. <laughs> this is not M20. So this one is one year after this one. No, Wait, I so do I get the point now? The rules of this game are if you get it wrong and you are wearing a hat, you lose your hat. But if you get it wrong and you have no hat, you lose the game. I'm not playing the game. Well, but you got the rules wrong. It's you lose your hat for that. What? That takes what? Wrong. That's cruel. Alasaur Shepherd is 2020, and I think this is more recent, so I'll go here. Oh, very good. Contagion. Speaking of advantages. Contagion is after Acid Rain, but before Angelic Blue. New card. New card. Um, tough new card, though. <laughs> is that new? I've played a bunch with this on Magic Online in one versus one commander. I believe in you. You are a young soul. I'll go with here. Start if you're up. Ideas Unbound. Um, I... <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! Uh, next game! Oh, no. Where was it? Yeah, man. You not only get a point, you also get this crown. You'll be playing for it in the final round. Nice. That one's really great because although you do need to buy cards to get into it anyway, as long as you've bought cards at any point in your life or you go through anyone's just huge collection, there'll be cards of a bunch of different years. But now let's get into the last one. And this last one not, might not technically be free, but all you need is one booster pack. And what do you do with that single booster pack? You go to the restaurant with your friends, you talk about your games of magic, but what do you do with this booster pack? Are you gonna wait till you have three? This is what you do with it. And the final game is my favorite one. We will play Pack Wars. Now, we've all been to a tournament, an event, we put out a local game store, and at the end, you leave with a booster pack. You have two options lying before I you. Don't. Either <laughs> you crack it open and you just keep what's inside, or you keep it until you have three, and then you draft with your friends, but a third option lies in front of you. Once you go to the restaurant or the bar after with your friends, you may play Pack Wars. You will each crack a pack of this Lord of the Rings booster. Pretend it's after an FNM. The winner is for all the keeps. You get to keep both booster packs. Now, would you like to open your decks? Don't look at them. Pull out the land and the token. Thank you very much. Give them a shuffle. And to see who goes first. <laughs> who goes? Why does he get to pick? This one. Yes, Yemen gets to go first. It's incredible. So this is how we play Pack Wars. You will at least draw five cards. How am I gonna cast my spells? Luckily for you, this is Pack Wars. And the rules are easy. Draw five cards. You use the lands in your hand. Funny. <laughs> Luckily for you, any card in your hand can be placed down Lorcana style. You can put it face down instead of playing it as a card. It becomes a land that taps for any color. Fun note, if ever someone bounces a land to your hand or you return it to your hand, you can then play it as that card. You both have five life. Whoever wins, yeah, when you go first, keeps both packs and eternal glory. Eternal glory. It's a lot of glory. Since I go first, I'll play a land and pass. I will play a card face down and five life. I will play a one, one death touch spider. I'll take my draw, play a land and cast Woe's Pathfinder, which is a 1-1 one, one mana dork. And for seven mana, it gives another target creature plus three, plus three, and trample at the end of turn. I will attack. Yeah, I don't think I want to take one damage. Okay. That would be 20% of my life total. I will play this card face down and uh, battle Scarred Goblin. It's a 2-2, two -two, and when it becomes blocked, it deals one damage to each creature blocking. I'll draw. I'll play a land. Untap. Draw. Ooh. 
I'll play a land face down and an East Farthing Farmer. When it enters the battlefield, create a food token. When you do a target creature you control, it gets plus one for each food. So it's a 3 3. I will return target non token creature to its owner's hand. Ooh. The ring tempts me. It does. I don't have a ring bearer right now. I'll have later. But for now, whenever my ring bearer attacks, I draw a card, then I discard a card. I'll draw. I'll play the Book of Mazerbol and I'll amass orcs. One. Two. Carl, can we have dice? <laughs> oh! I gained seven food. Do you have. Yeah. I feel like the seven food are kind of overpowered. I'll have an orc army. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I will play a land and attack for two. Yep. I'll take two. And then we play a back end porter. Four, four. And when it attacks, it gets plus X plus X. Where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. So the second step of my saga tells me to amass orcs two. I'll play a land and I'll pass the turn. I uh, would like to attack. Bring it on. Attack. Lock here. I'll try to grant my creature lifelink and also amass orcs one. Ding! So you take no damage. Yeah, I stay at three life. I will play a land face down. Oh no. And I will play Samwise. When it enters the battlefield, choose up to one target permanent card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield. Return it to your hand. Okay. And then I will play it again. I'll make another food. And I will also let the ring tempt me. All right, so you get to choose a ring, Dara. Um, you're on three, right? I'm on three. Uh, rough spot, but... Oh, all right. Uh, so creatures I control gain plus one, plus zero, and gain menace until end of turn. Play isolation at orth flank and put target creature into its owner's library, second from the top. I'll choose that one. And then? I'll attack for five. <laughs> Woo! Do I get to keep the crown? Forever. <laughs> we'll wield it to your head later. Well, that was five ways to play with magic cards without spending any money, mostly. <laughs> Yamin is the champion. Congratulations. You won at this. If you enjoyed this, there's a subscribe button. We enjoy it if you click it. And if you want to watch more videos of us doing silly things with magic cards, there's two more suggestions coming up in three, two, one.